So far, uh, we've covered tools from the SAS Institute. We've uh, looked at SAS Enterprise Miner as well as Base SAS. We've also looked at WPS, which is a cheaper alternative to SAS. Now let's look at IBM, which is another big player in analytics. IBM is betting big time on business analytics to drive its growth over the next decade. The company has spent over $15 billion in the last few years to acquire analytics software and services companies. IBM took over the business intelligence software giant Cognos for a whopping $5 billion in 2007. After that, uh, they bought SPSS, which is one of the leading predictive data mining software company, for over a billion dollars. They bought Netiza, which is a big data warehouse vendor, for $1.7 billion. They bought Core Metrics, which is a web analytics software and services provider, for an undisclosed amount. Unica, an information services company, for another half a billion, and about 20 other analytics companies across the globe. Two of IBM's most popular analytic tools are uh, SPSS and SPSS Modeler, which was earlier known as SPSS Clementine. Think of SPSS as an equivalent of base SAS and SPSS Modeler as an equivalent of the GUI based SAS E minor. Both the products are very competent. While SPSS is more popular in the market research field, base SAS uh, leads the market share in the business analytics industry. And uh, the main reason for this is that base SAS is supposed to be better than SPSS in uh, terms of handling large data sets. So while market research, which usually has small to mid-sized data sets, works uh, well for SPSS, in business analytics, there may be situations where uh, data sets may be very large and complex computations in SPSS may be very painful and time consuming. SPSS Modeler also comes with a variety of functions for accessing data, doing data exploration, summarization and preparation. And uh, just like SAS Enterprise Miner, the user can perform a lot of predictive modeling techniques like regression, clustering, decision trees, neural networks, self-organizing maps, and many others. R is the world's most popular open source analytics tool. R has evolved from a language called S, which was uh, later bought by a company and developed into a commercial product called S+. S+, stands for S plus the GUI. So while the parent language was converted into a commercial product, R actually evolved into an open source analytics tool. R has been concurrently developed from the beginning of the 1990s, initially in a confidential manner before being made public in 1993. The development pace has accelerated with the creation of R help and R develop mailing lists and above all by the R core group that is in charge of controlling the source code for R. The development of R can be tracked by the growing number of R packages. A package in R is essentially a collection of functions that enable the user to make computations on a particular issue, usually in statistics like descriptive statistics or uh, data manipulation, regression analysis, advanced visualization, etc. From a few hundred in 2001, R has now reached 2,000 packages by the end of 2009 and some people say that there are more than 3,000 R packages now. The exact number of course is difficult to estimate since anyone can produce a package in R. The version 1.0.1 of R was released in 2000 and uh, we are today at the version 2.14. R is a versatile tool that has been developed by practitioners themselves. Like base SAS, it involves coding in the R language. You can see the R interface here. It's uh, similar to the base SAS interface, but the base SAS interface offers uh, a lot of other options to view the log, to view the results, etc. The R language is very concise and uh, it's actually a very elegant language where you can do a lot of stuff with just a few lines of code and using pre-developed packages. But the R language is not easy to learn. It has a steep learning curve. 
but once mastered it is a powerful tool through which one can do super complex statistical analysis very quickly R has uh, excellent statistical and visualization capabilities but uh, R has problems dealing with large data sets R was not designed to deal with large data sets and it does not do a good job of it however now with the integration with uh, Hadoop and other big data technologies R is uh, being successfully deployed on massive data sets as well and uh, with companies like Facebook Google Bing Mozilla and many others using R the adoption of R in business has also increased quite a bit in India many analytics companies are training their workforce on R in order to enjoy the cost savings by using this free yet versatile product most users of statistical software will tell you that R's capabilities regarding visualization of data and graphics is uh, very high the quality of the graphics produced by R is high enough to be used in top-notch academic publications you can make graphs with several layers scales coordinate systems and you can even easily add a smoothing curve to any set of data in particular graphics have uh, long been a major differentiator with SAS which is our uh, biggest competitor and uh, SAS's capabilities in uh, the domain of data visualization have been relatively limited although in recent times uh, the SAS products are showing a lot of improvement in terms of their visualization capabilities here's a nice visualization of a person's Facebook contacts this has been done on R Apache Hadoop the open source data management software that helps companies analyze massive volumes of uh, data both structured and unstructured is uh, a very hot topic across the tech industry employed by big name websites like eBay Facebook and Yahoo Hadoop is being tagged by many as one of the most desired technical skills for 2013 and coming years along with cloud computing MicroStrategy is another popular product it's essentially a BI product with limited analytics capabilities it's a tool that's very easy to learn and uh, it produces excellent visualization the latest version of the MicroStrategy business intelligence platform has uh, advanced integration capabilities with Hadoop and uh, also increases support for the R uh, language so there's increased integration with both R and uh, Hadoop from MicroStrategy Statistica is a statistics and analytics software package developed by Statsoft. Statistica provides data analysis, data management, statistics, data mining and data visualization procedures. Statistica has a lot of different products. Uh, some of them cater to enterprise wide solutions, some are web based and uh, some are single user desktop solutions. Statistica is essentially a GUI based product similar to SAS eMiner and SPSS Modeler. The most recent version of Statistica is version 11 which was released in uh, 2012. Operation of the software typically involves loading a table of data and applying statistical functions from pull down menus or from the ribbon bar. The menus then uh, prompt for the variables to be included and the type of analysis required the different parameters that you can tweak it's not necessary to type command prompts each analysis may include graphical or tabular output and is stored in a separate workbook so Statistica is again a fairly user-friendly tool it's easy to learn it has uh, advanced uh, analytics capabilities and uh, is capable of handling large data sets KXN is one of the few companies that is actually driving automated analytics so they are trying to reduce the work of an analyst as much as possible their uh, products are largely based on algorithms developed by the Russian mathematician Vladimir Vapnik. They are uh, easy to use, fast and can work with large amounts of data. So KXN has a lot of advantages. It's uh, very easy to use and learn. It's very fast. It can produce uh, a large number of models very quickly and it can deal with large data sets very easily. Some users however may not like the fact that KXN works like a black box and in most cases it is difficult to understand how you got to the results and explain the results to someone else. KXN offers various software packages that cover various functions and data manipulation options including classification, regression, clustering, 
variable importance, segmentation, time series, association rules, and data fusion. Tableau is again a GUI based data visualization product similar to MicroStrategy. It's also focused on BI. It lets you drag and drop to analyze data. You can connect to data in a few clicks, then visualize and create interactive dashboards with a few more clicks. So again, a tool that is very easy to learn, very easy to master, and uh, you can do a lot of interesting analysis and visualizations using this tool. You can't do a lot of predictive analytics with it, but it's a good tool to give you a good understanding of the data. So we've covered some of the most popular analytics tools in this video. In the next video, we'll see some comparisons of uh, popular analytics tools.